Victoria Gill. Now, Nikki, obviously a real hospital is never going to be exactly like this, but do, do you like the sound of it? I think it has pros and cons. Like, there's some bits that I find a bit impractical, but then there's other bits that I think it's good. Like, I really like the idea that they, they just want to create a space where people feel loved rather than punished. I think that's really good, but then I think the play on the padded cell um, area where people go for more privacy, I don't think that's very practical because... I think there's a reason behind the fact that staff need to be able to see patients at all times. So I think it's probably a bit too private, the fact that they only have the key as well so they can lock themselves in. I don't think that's necessarily a good idea. I don't think it would be very healthy for someone to lock themselves in there. So I don't think that should be implemented, to be honest. And what have your experiences of being on wards been like you know, in terms of the environment surrounding you? Well, I often find that the environment is horrible. You feel like you're in a prison and it's just really unwelcoming and you feel really unsettled. It should look a bit more like a home because when you go there, like you don't really know what you're expecting and you feel incredibly intimidated and overwhelmed. But if they made it a bit more homey, not necessarily like a child's playground, like what they was trying to create, I think more just a bit homely, not intimidating. And would there be a way of making places feel a bit calmer, sort of having a bit more perhaps of the atmosphere of a of a spa rather than a, a yeah. hospital? There's certain things that are good that can make people feel calmer, like there were some hospitals that had bean bags and so that was quite relaxing. So just, it's not really necessarily like a drastic change. I just think they do need to make changes. Thanks very much, Nikki Mattox. That's it for today. But remember, if you want to make sure you never miss an episode of All in the Mind, you can subscribe to the free podcast. Next week, those amazing moments where something suddenly makes sense. Why is it that some people have more insights than others? And is there anything you can do to have some more? Do join me then. If you've enjoyed this programme, you might like to try other Radio 4 podcasts, including Start the Week, lively discussions chaired by Andrew Marr, and a weekly highlight from Radio 4's evening arts programme, Front Row. To find out more, visit bbc.co.uk slash radio4.